CFD Support Engineer and in this video I will show you how to use a snappy hex mesh for meshing in DCFD. For this video tutorial I will be using standard radial compressor tutorial from CFD Support website. First, I'm need, I need to enter components and mesh. Then I enter subsection components. In this video tutorial, I will be meshing only first component impeller. The most important meshing parameter is background mesh size. This parameter determines the size of cell in mesh volume. From start, I'm not going to change anything and I'm going to show you how the mesh looks like with the course setup. So I click on TCFD, continue to TCFD manager and here I'm going to mesh the first component. After starting TCFD manager I clicked on apply, I clicked on write case to write case and then I clicked on build to mesh the impeller. Now I'm going to close unnecessary windows to make the mesh larger and also I'm going to close components or hide components to hide STL files and see only mesh. I have I visible next to mesh so I'm able to see mesh when I click on show. Show is ready when, or mesh is ready, when the tab with mesh component is green. Now the impeller appears. I zoom closer. And if I want to see actual mesh cells, I can show surface with edges. I see that this mesh is very very coarse and, and is not very suitable for CFD simulation. Also from this view I see that there are holes in my geometry because mesh and parameters are too coarse. To improve the mesh quality I need to decrease the level of background mesh size to decrease the size of mesh in volume and to improve the quality on the edges and walls. Because every parameter is with respect to background mesh size. Background mesh size also determines the size of cells in on the walls because the refinement on the walls and the edges it always with respect to background mesh size. So now I need to get back to the setup and I need to change parameters to improve the mesh quality. To make background mesh size visible and to get an idea if my background mesh size is reasonable, I can click on show background mesh wireframe. Now I have wireframe around my mesh and I can see that if I take a diameter of my impeller, I have only a couple of cells in my mesh volume. I need to decrease this parameter. Good starting point is to take diameter of your impeller and divide it by 75. In this case I get the value 0 0.8. I'm going to use this value in background mesh size. 0 0.8 now I can see that 
the mesh size decreased and my overall mesh size and number of cells in my mesh volume will be larger. This is standard value, uh, impeller divided by 75, which was tested on large number of tutorials and uh, for simple geometries it should work. But please be aware that this is not ideal and for some cases it might not be enough. I'm going to press apply and mesh the impeller with the new setup. I go back to TCFD manager. I need to write the case again to update the setup. And when it's done, I'm building the case again. After the meshing is done, my mesh turns green or component one impeller after meshing turns green to see that the mesh is ready. I'm again able to click on show and then mesh update in render view. If I look at it more closely, now I see that the mesh in volume is much finer and also there is much larger number of cells over my diameter. Now I don't see any holes close to outlet on my impeller, so it seems to be meshed fine or appropriately. I can also examine the surface without the edges because when I check it with, with edges and with mesh size, then some small details can be hidden behind those edges. Now, when I check the case more closely, I can see that the mesh quality on the blade edges is still quite low. Even when mesh volume seems reasonable, I still have some problems on the edges. To get rid of these problems, I'm going to refine the mesh on the walls. But this is only good option if I'm confident that my mesh in the volume is reasonable. It's always better to have fine mesh volume and compute with some problems on the edges in comparison to have very fine mesh on the edges and have only a couple of cells in the mesh volume. I'm going to back to TCFD setup. Refinement levels on the walls are solved in patches table or and STLs used for impeller mesh are highlighted with green. I said that I want to refine the levels on the blades and that's why I'm going to increase minimum and maximum refinement levels. These refinement levels are with respect to background mesh size. What does that mean? It means that at start everything has size of background mesh size. Then if I use refinement values 1 and 1, the cells on walls are halved and everything is one times finer. If I use refinement level 2, then all cells on walls are halved again. That means that with refinement level 2, the cell size on the wall with refinement 2 is 
approximately eight times smaller in, com in comparison to refinement level zero. Now I'm going to use refinement levels three, three, because two, two was not enough. I apply the changes and go back to meshing. I have again written the changes into a case, then I pressed build and after everything was done I clicked on show to update the changes. Now I can see that the mesh quality on the edges is much better. If I look from other side I also see that the roughness of the edges is not that visible. When I also check the case or mesh with edges, I see that mesh close to the blade is much finer in comparison to its surroundings. I also check shroud here it looks much better and now I can say that at least visually my mesh quality is good and this is how you use snappy hex mesh for meshing the most important part you refine the mesh volume with background mesh size and if you have reasonable background mesh size and still doesn't have good mesh on the walls, then you ref increase refinement levels on the walls in table patches. Thank you for your attention.